We saw some big crowds at the Minnesota State Fair this year, but we also saw the return of crime. Good evening, I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Amy Hocker. Two separate shootings from over the weekend now being investigated. Our Rob Olson joins us live from the State Fairground. So Rob, this is even getting the governor's attention. Yeah, speaking about it today uh, as he was uh, welcoming kids back into classroom today, you know, this day after the fair is when the uh, deep dive begins at what went well and what didn't. What did go well is the fair had higher than projected turnout. Obviously, what didn't go well were two shootings, one outside the fairgrounds and one in. So now becomes a, a time to really look at how that happened and how to prevent it. I'm going to lift this corner. Kind of depressing today. The day after, when another state fair is in the books, is always a bit bittersweet. The cleaning up, the packing up, the hauling out. But vendors say it was a pretty good year. Not quite 2019, but... It got it, busy. Yeah, very busy. But it was a good year, scarred by two shootings. Monday night outside the fairgrounds on Como, just east of Snelling, a half hour before the fair closed for the year. <laughs> And on Saturday night at the entrance of the Midway, one that sent crowds running. Neither were fatal, and law enforcement in both suspect gang affiliations. And in both these shootings, we believe that the individuals knew each other, that there was probably gang ties related. And in both of these incidents so far, the victim of the shooting has failed to uh, to cooperate to tell who did this. Governor Walls Tuesday morning saying there were 60 agencies working the fair and thought the public safety plan overall went well. But questions remain about how a gun got in and Walls is calling on judges to get tougher. If someone's going to use a firearm, in a crowded area where there's innocent people and children, there needs to be a heavy penalty for that. Next to the Midway, the pizza wagon was also packing up. They have a front row seat to where Saturday's problems erupted. Could feel it brewing again Monday night, they said. But they praised the amount of officers they saw. But I feel like the, the, the sheriffs and the cops do a great job. And they too called it a good year, despite the problems. It's always just a big rush to do it and say we did it another year. 53 years. <laughs> Yeah, they said they've been there over a half century, but can tell it's it's changing, but said they did see a major law enforcement presence and for the most part always felt safe. And then in contrast to that, further up here at the corn roast, they said they saw and felt no issues whatsoever. So a lot of that is based on where you are. But again, now the real look begins here at how this happens, how to prevent it, how did a gun get in through the metal detectors, although there were some social media posts showing people jumping the fences. So again, a really good look at what needs to change. Live at the fairgrounds, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right, Rob, and as the fair wraps up, we now know how many people went. Hundreds of thousands of people came out to the fairgrounds this year. There was a major jump in attendance compared to last year, making it the fifth most attended fair ever. Labor Day's attendance was more than 156,000, bringing the 12-day total to more than 1.8 million. And if you just cannot get enough of the fair, there are only 351 days to go, Ian Leonard, until next year's mm. fair.